Hi, this is Todd from the Scoundrels Cantina, and welcome to another LEGO Star Wars set review. In this video, I'll be reviewing the other Scoundrels Luke's Bounty Hunter Speeder Bike Battle Pack, whose number is 75167. This set is based off of the Freemaker Adventures, which is a LEGO Star Wars show, but that's about all we know about where this thing is from. Just to clarify one thing, and that is that we just put the Empire Strikes Back logo on the thumbnail because you basically get all the bounty hunters seen in Episode 5 when they were hired by the Empire to capture the Millennium Falcon. So yeah. But anyway, thank god for the Freemaker Adventures because this battle pack is gold because of the minifigs. Anyway, if this is your first time watching one of our videos, be sure to check out this video in which we explain our personal headcanon view in all of Star Wars. The link for it will be below. First off, I'll be going over the minifigs and then the set review itself. So with this said, let's do this. The first minifigure up is Bosk, who is definitely a step up from the previous versions of him, with almost everything about him. His skin color is way more accurate to the actual character, and he has quite a bit of printed details on him, which is of course awesome since this is only a battle pack. A big step up are the leg prints compared to the old version, as well as the new torso. Now here's a look at him from the back, which is also nice. By the way, we're using blasters that we added here instead of the stud shooters that you get in the actual set, simply because this looks better and the stud shooters are just really out of place. Next minifigure up is Dangar, aka the guy with the toilet paper wrapped around his head. And for those of you that don't know, it's a Star Wars robot chicken joke. Now anyway, Dangar is also updated compared to the previous version of him, and those updates are him having leg prints. From being in huge sets, he ends up in a battle pack, which is just so weird. He has awesome torso and leg prints because they actually made him look like his armor went through a lot. Now here's a look at his back prints, and the same comment applies to it as well. You also get a backpack with him, which is made out of regular pieces. I find it very awesome to get him so easily. Next minifigure up is Forlom, aka the reprogrammed protocol droid bounty hunter. This is a minifigure that was never seen before until this battle pack came out, and we're so happy that they made him. He might be a small character in episode 5, but the expanded universe of course expands all characters, and there you have it. As you can see he has very similar torso printing to C-3PO and other protocol droids, and the same applies to the back side of him. Also, gotta love that he looks rusty and worn out. The headpiece is very solid plastic and is very well done. If you want, this minifigure can be used as a droid in a mock or something. Depends if you want to use him, but we're just giving you the heads up lore-wise. And now the last minifigure up is IG-88, aka the assassin droid with sentience. IG-88 is probably the least exciting minifig here because you can easily make him out of random droid parts and a few other pieces, meaning that he's a simple droid. This is still a great minifig nonetheless, and has way better prints on his face, which is nice. At the back he has an attached sniper rifle, and that would be all on him. Now here we have the Bounty Hunter speeder bike, which has a really nice and rare blue color on it, as well as two weird engine pieces on the side, which would really look good in a live action version on it. But sadly, here in LEGO it's simply nothing special at all, because we have gotten dozens of speeder bikes over the years, and all of them are pretty much the same design wise. Since we know nothing about this because we don't watch the Freemaker Adventures, we're gonna assume that these side parts here are blaster turrets, which can move both forward and backward. This is what it looks like with one of the bounty hunters on it, and that is basically all there is to it. This battle pack is awesome because you get 4 exclusive bounty hunter minifigs, all of whom are seen in Empire Strikes Back, but on the other hand the build is nothing special as with most battle packs. Anyway guys, this is it on the set review and I hope you all enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to check out our other videos and subscribe. The links to the playlist for our other set reviews will be down below, as well as the playlist to our mock reviews and custom minifigure builds. Before we end this, be sure to check out Luke's room tour video in which you can see his whole LEGO Star Wars collection, and after you watch it, tell us in the comments down below what you want us to review next. The link for it is also down below, and I hope you enjoy the slideshow now at the end. Anyway, remember guys, God is awesome, may the force be with you always, and we'll see you in another video. You rebel scum.